we are going to look at the cholinergic transmission today and how acetylcholine is synthesized, how it is stored, released, and how does it reach the receptor where it acts. Basically, choline, basic molecule, which is taken up into the presynaptic nerve terminal. Here, it combines with acetyl coenzyme A in the presence of the enzyme choline acetyl transferase. And hence, acetylcholine is formed. Now, when acetylcholine is it is stored in vesicles. There are many vesicles present in the presynaptic membrane. And whenever there is a stimulus, when there is depolarization of the presynaptic membrane, ki, to pe calcium channels open ho jate hai, influx of calcium, hota hai, which causes fusion of these vesicles with the presynaptic membrane, resulting in release of acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. Cleft se acetylcholine reaches towards its receptor, which is present on the post-synaptic membrane. Now, depending on which tissue is happening, this will be cholinoceptor different. Hoga. For example, if this heart mein ye tissue is तो M2 होगा अगर ये कोई GIT है तो यहां पे कोई मसल है तो ये M3 रिसेप्टर होगा अगर ये स्केलेटल मसल एंड प्लेट है तो ये निकोटिनिक मास्कुलर रिसेप्टर होगा सो व्हाट एवर द रिसेप्टर इज एसिटाइलकोलीन इज गोइंग टू बाइंड टू इट एंड प्रोड्यूस द रिस्पांस ऑन द पोस्ट सायनेप्टिक मेम्ब्रेन एज यू कैन सी देयर आर मल्टीपल स्टेप्स वेयर द सिंथेसिस और स्टोरेज और रिलीज ऑफ एसिटाइलकोलीन कैन बी ब्लॉक्ड Hemicholinium blocks the uptake of choline into the cell, so it prevents the synthesis of acetylcholine. The zamicol prevents the storage of acetylcholine in the vesicles, so it depletes the acetylcholine stores. Botulinum prevents the fusion of the presynaptic vesicles with the presynaptic membrane, so it prevents the release of acetylcholine. I hope you can understand this concept. If you have any queries, please feel free to comment. Thank you.